What's going on everybody? This is Eric, and this is Whiskey in a Hammock, and today I am all by myself. Chris decided not to show up, so I he's the guy that normally brings all the whiskey and stuff. I have no idea what we're going to review, uh, but I know a video has to come out, so I just... Oh! I'm the Whiskey Hunter. Today, they're reviewing Von P. Black Whiskey. Whiskey! So today, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is the first time me seeing this bottle, the Von Payne Black. It is a cool freaking bottle. As you can see, it's got a gargoyle on the top of it. Um, the marketing of this bottle alone, like what they did to this bottle alone is the whole reason I would buy it, just because it looks badass. That gargoyle is sweet looking. What's up, buddy? What's up? My, my Von Payne vest on, what do you think? Right. I, it's it, you're gonna be it? hot. <laughs> you're gonna be hot. It looks good though. Thanks. That's you. That's you. That's Chris in a nutshell right here. Yeah, I love it. I dig it. So, Vaughn Payne. Vaughn Payne. Anyway, so we got the this is 45 uh, ABV, right? 90 proof. Yep. Um, the super cool thing is, this is a blended whiskey out of Florida. Yes. Which is. I mean, there's a lot of new, like, craft distilleries and stuff going around. Yep. Um, these guys are out of Clearwater. Yes? They Clearwater. distill it out of Newport Ritchie. Right. So it's a company called the Point Distillery. Point Distillery, Newport, which is basically Tampa. Yeah, basically Tampa. It's all, yeah. It's good. It's, I'm, ever since you told me about this, I've been really excited. It's well, quite, see, the second I saw it online, I was like, whew. Well, what? right. So I walked in the liquor store and I was picking up the new bottle of New Riff. Mm -hmm. and I seen this on the shelf and I was like, what is that? And it has a super cool gargoyle on top already. And I was like, that's that's a pour? Yeah. Already? Yeah, so it comes with a pour. So Chris will show you later. But you unwrap it and you don't even ever have to take the thing out. You just dump it. It's just a pour. Like, you know, the elk with old elk or yeah, yeah. the pig with whistle pig. Yep. But this is its own pour. So these guys put a lot of effort into their their design Packing and logo design. and everything. Just a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. You know, I you know, I talked to Steve, Steve Allen, who's the owner of uh, New Avon Payne. Hello, Black Steve. Whiskey. A little bit about this, right? So Steve said that he was out with his daughter's boating one day. Right. You know, I, yep. <laughs> yep. They, they were in your legal drinking age. And they were just taking bottles of vodka to the head. Yeah. And he, they and were yeah, disgusted like, by it. Yeah. I get that. Right. But you got to do what you got to do. Right. I mean, you're drinking for a point, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, no, it's, we socialize drink, and we do it very yes. sophisticated and very responsibly. Most we never get out of hand. Well, not on tape anyway. <laughs> so I totally get where he's coming from. And he, the cool thing was, he's like, my daughters are drinking this, and they hate it. How yeah. about I got to figure something out? Well, and you know, they said the same thing. They, they said fireball, uh, like you know, like yeah, yeah, and like you know, vodka because you know you're not going to get fat off of it, right? And Jaeger, not a fan. I watch Tequila. my figure that way as well, yep. Well, that's why we drink whiskey. That's why we have these girlish figures. Right. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> so, really into whiskey at the time. Drinking Old Fashions, that was his choice. And he's like, you know what? I want something different. Something that everybody, that's approachable for everybody, non-whiskey drinkers and whiskey drinkers alike. Right. And something... He's like, for the next generation, like his daughter's generation. He's like, something so they have their own drink. Mm -hmm. So he came up with this, Von Payne. He had a 3D printer, had an idea for doing the um, gargoyle. He did the bottle and the gargoyle yeah. on the 3D printer. Yeah. I can't imagine how much time that took just to well, get it right and right. figure it out. But, mm -hmm. I mean, clearly, that's you just said that's what made you buy this bottle. Yeah. Yep. Is marketing. So The marketing. So that's yep. brilliant on their part. But like I said, so they, they traveled uh, in Europe and noticed all the gargoyles on the cathedrals mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, that would be cool. We've been to Europe. There's a lot of gargoyles. Yeah. And there is. I love gargoyles. Mm -hmm. Even though the cartoon. I was literally <laughs> just going to say that. That's funny. Yep. I'm the fat guy. I call the fat guy. I call the fat gargoyle. <laughs> um, I'm not going to say which one I am. Wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> but the crazy cool exciting thing is he was very passionate about finding something different right like well listen, like not just the sin, well, not right. just the not oaky, just another flavor cinnamon, blah, blah, well, same old, same something old. unique something that tastes great and he said you know he's like mm -hmm. talking to his wife he's like hey what can i do and she's like oh well i used to work at haagen-dazs 
She's like, we have this black currant ice cream. He's like, what? Yeah, I've never black? even heard of black yeah. currant. Yeah, I no. thought it was something like Red Tide. I was like, <laughs> no, that's terrible. That's, that's not good. That's a terrible tasting ice cream. So uh, he looked it up, did some search. I'm dumb. And then found it, found it, you know, all, all his information about it, that it's, you know, basically based up in, you know, uh, in Europe. Mm-hmm. It's been outlawed to be grown in the U.S. until 2003. Which I read that and I tried to look more into it. It had something to do with forestry and I don't understand why a berry would... They were worried that the regulate forestry that the fungus was going to infect pine trees and kill them. I didn't read enough into the story apparently, but I know you did. But apparently that's not a thing because in two thousand three, like, uh, okay, you can grow here in the states. We're going to make them illegal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And then somebody was well, like, "It's a berry, dude." Well, like, yeah, but but that's what you said. It's like, how cool is it to have an illegal berry in right? whiskey? Right. Makes it that much more. That's kind of like potent. um, the, uh, Clyde Mays. That guy went to prison. Yeah, yeah, That just makes his whiskey... He went to prison for putting that, apples in his whiskey. Not that prison's cool. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, he, like, he went... He legitimately went to prison for his whiskey. Yeah. He's and, like, no, I stand by it. Right. This is good stuff. And he came out and... He came out and now he's making it. Well, yeah, he came out and Legal. went back to making it. Yep. F you guys. So, the other thing of Von Payne says that it represents going through the pain of judgment and finding your tribe... Of those that accept you and pleasure that comes from discovering the strength of confidence of being you. I love that. Selectively small circle of people that I call my tribe because right. they're you have acquaintances. They're the ones that are trustworthy, and I know, you know, drop of a di- drop of a hat, I can call them, and they're just like, "Yeah, I got you. Let's go." <laughs> Whose car are we taking? You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's my tribe. I totally yep. get the tribe aspect. I dig it. Well, crack this son of a bitch open. Okay, and let's get, ready? Let's get to it. Okay. I'm really excited about. It. All right, it's red. Like it's, it's red. It's red. So the other thing cool, like I said, you know, it obviously has I'm a like pour on blood it. Red. But it's a patented. So he designed it so that the pour has, you know, that's why it has this red stopper in it. Mm-hmm. So if you check that out, you can see the gargoyle. Look, he even has a mask on his face. COVID. I shouldn't say that. Yeah, COVID. <laughs> He's got the even COVID. a gargoyle is COVID. <laughs> well, you know, I get that to keep a uh, no, <laughs> no political affiliation. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <All right. laughs> It's bad that we'd even have to say something like that. <laughs> well, where is it? That gargoyle is sick. No, it's cool. And you know, like you said, also the news said that the um, bottle was 3D printed, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So it went through a h- bunch of iterations. And you want it to be elegant and sexy. There is an instructional video on Von Payne's website on how to access, how to be able to use the topper. Right. Mm-hmm. I watched it. Yeah. Yep. So it seems pretty, it seems pretty self-explanatory, but you know, for the people who don't act, you know, this is the first bottle I know that comes with a a pourer. Right, and it's metal. And it's metal. It's heavy too, huh? It's got the weight to it. With the whole bottle. Yeah. Yeah. No. So, for all you people, he there was a plastic piece around his mouth, hence the COVID joke. <laughs> and then there's a plastic piece around the neck that you have to take off, and then right. you know you. Basically, pop the top. Well, see, but it makes sense, right? Because you don't want anything inside that right. stopper. And you, you keep drink. the stopper so that when you're not drinking it. Right. So. Yeah, so when you're not drinking oh. it, you just put the topper back in there. Yeah, so you put this back on so that yep. way it doesn't keep your, uh Yeah, your, your whiskey. Oh, I can smell it already. Did you smell it? I smelled oh, it. I, I did. smelled it. Did, 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 did. Well, oh. okay, so. I'm, I'm, I'm super excited. Do it Everything I've heard is that it's so it's different. It's different. Well, it's not as red as I thought it was gonna be. Right. It looks redder more well now it looks okay. Now it looks red. Wow. Wow. That's my best Owen Wilson. Wow. It almost looks what's that what's that stuff we drank? Starts with Metaxas? Oh Met- yeah. Kansas? Met- Metaxas. Metaxa. 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 It almost looks like that. Like it all, like, see, gosh darn it. Now, Metaxa had that like plum yeah. kind of thing to yep. it. So now that's what I'm thinking about is plums. I am, um, so this is age three years. Ah. Right? It is three years, but like the, the, he's like, hey, you know, uh, the bottle that you got? Mm-hmm. He's like, if you got the bottle right now, it's actually blended with seven year. So, so it's blended this, with seven year? He's like, this bottle. He's like, this batch that you have right now, it has a seven year blended there's a seven year, you know, whiskey that's in here. So it was like once he like he worked for years on like, you know, the right infusion. Yeah. So he brought it in with them and he had the you know, the guy taste it, the master came up, he tasted it, 
and uh, he's like, I knew I had something when they're like, it's like, all right, yeah, cool, yeah, that tastes good. And it's on the way back to you know see their operation. Mm-hmm. And my sister was like, hey, you know, can I get another glass of that? <laughs> oh, he's like, yeah. He's like, maybe some I got right. something. This is uh, what do you get off the nose there, pal? Ooh. It's not very. Um, it doesn't have that alcohol punch. I don't think. No, it's kind of no it's tame. It's yeah. There's Ooh. something sweet about it, but it's not. It's not like overly sweet. No. I I have no idea. I still get that like. There's a little bit of oaky in there. Like, there's a familiar smell with other yeah, bourbon. No, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It's that but familiar it's smell, but with something else. Of a bourbon or a whiskey, like that. I'm I'm oh. lost for words. I don't really smell anything. I mean, it smells sweet. It's I don't really smell a lot of fruit, which I'm expecting to smell because of the, the, black the berries. The black currant. Currant. Black currant. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> It's got a super cool color. Like we said, it's almost like a... I mean, it is. Like, you know, like this, like you said, now you hold it up like the light, you yeah. can see the reddish tint that it has. Yeah, it. it's almost like a... A reddish hue? Like a, like a watered-down red wine, kind of. But yeah. with... There's like orange and brown and red. But you, you can see oh, it's cool. definitely not like, you know, any whiskey that I've seen. It's nope. that, not this not this color. Nope. Ready? Yeah. Right, cheers, cheers, partner. Von Payne. Black current berries. Holy cow. Wow. Wow. What in the world? What kind of voodoo is that? There's a very, very mild alcohol finish. Well, to me, it was a bit stronger for me. I really? Felt it's kind of, I, can, I can feel the heat. Like, I felt the burn, but it wasn't as it wasn't as bad as others. I think that I was expecting something you know, not to be... I mean, I know it's, what, you know, 45, 45 mm-hmm. percent, ABV, yeah. 90 proof. I don't know. I just I guess I was expecting it to be tamer, but it's, you know, it's, it doesn't have a punch to yeah, it. Yeah, it's got a little bite to it, but it's not... The finish doesn't hit as hard as others we've had. Like, I no. feel like I could hold this in my mouth and not burn. <laughs> you, know mm. I mean? you know what I mean? Like, it wouldn't... I almost get like like a I wouldn't creamy, feel like I had to swallow it right away. <laughs> almost like a creamy blueberry aspect. Mm. I don't know. It's it's weird. They you know, they talked about it being tart. Mm. I don't get tart. I get more sweet than tart. But um like when I think tart, I think of like like a cranberry. Yeah, you know, I, like, no. it like dries your tongue out almost. You know, tart. Like, I think that you know, there's. I, I definitely taste like the second time. I got a little bit more tart, and just a little bit of sweetness on the back end. Like I said, it's not. It's not overly sweet. It's not sugary. And like I said, you know, it doesn't use any kind of corn syrup or anything like that. You know, just, you know, to sweeten it up. He said it's all organic ingredients. Ooh, no, it, it is thick. There's like a. Yeah. It's not. You know what it reminds me of? What? Remember that. Was it blood oath mead or something? Mm. It kind of t- it kind of has a m- mead f- kick to it. Well, I'm gonna add some ice and a little bit more. Yeah. This is uh, that is cool. I think this is the most diverse. Is that the right word? I think this is the the most different. What am I trying to say? The most different whiskey we've I've had. Very yeah, very different. There's it's another not... word other than most different. What am I trying to say here? There's it's the most unique unique whiskey that we've had. All right, and of course I got the it's perfect ice cube go into this drink. Oh, you got the full skulls? Full and yeah, I got a full skull. Yeah. I, I gave you a half because I know you usually like your. Yeah. Like, hey, can you break that in half? For me? I don't think I like. I don't know if I'd want to put ice in there at all, ever. I am a huge fan of this. Are you? So. I would love to try their old fashioned with this. Bonpain.com, go check them out. Mm-hmm. Cool site. Super cool site. You they got some it? cool merch, too. Yeah. Speaking of merch. What are you talking about? Our merch? Our merch. Whiskeyandhammock.com, forward slash store. That's it. So, hats, glasses, t-shirts. Hats, glasses, we got new. We got new t-shirts. Even yep. this guy. And Whiskey Thrones. Whiskey Throne. Whiskey Throne Max. 
and, and whiskey thrown slim and just regular whiskey thrown mm-hmm. because your bottle deserves a throw. Clearly. Clearly. Especially in this, for instance. Right. Better take a sip. Yeah, I'm, I'm melted. Melt. Are you melted already? Yeah, I'm melted already. Shoot. Mm, better cold. Oh, wow, yeah. Better, definitely Much better, better cold. cold. It's nice and sweet. My first thing was this is going to give me heartburn, mm. but then it tamed down really quick. Well, you said it's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It's mm. not anything that... It's not uh, that sugary sweet. No, like, not a sugary sweet. It's a, I think it's a slight hint of sweet, and I, I still get I get tart on it. I do get a little tart on it. Yeah, I don't get tart, but that's... I, um, I'm a gigantic fan of this. Huge fan. Just, I think maybe... One, it tastes phenomenal, and uh, it's, it's so much different than anything we've had. Like, you could easily sit down. This is this is something you just sit down and drink. You know, there's not... Yeah. You know, like, this yeah. is an everyday 100%. Yeah. For me. You know, this is a, a nice... Simply like said, I, I definitely do this with an ice cube. Yeah, it's better with an ice cube. It's better yeah. chilled. Yep, I think it's you better know? chilled, too. I agree. I wonder if it'd like be it. worth it to chill your glass. Like, you know how people put their beer... Mm. Mm-hmm. Steins in the in the freezer. Yeah, I wonder if it'd be worth freezing your glass and then putting this in there. Because mm. I liked it better without the melt. Well, no, I like. I don't know. I think I liked it better cold, but well, obviously cold? that had to do with the melt. Right, but I think you know the little bit of ice kind of releases mm-hmm. more of those. Uh, yeah, flavor. It yeah, with more punches flavors, it up a little bit. Yes, definitely. So you put this in your know, in your bar, huh? Oh, a thousand percent. All right, yeah. So does this get the whiskey hammock stamp of approval? Hundred percent. Stamped. Approved. Got it. Yeah, this is a no-brainer. Yeah. No, I am. Uh, I am uh, excited. I, I'm. I, I'm a big fan of his um, effort and, and enthusiasm and hard work to bring us Von Payne Black. Because uh, if you can find it, go get it. Because it's it's <laughs> it's freaking good. It is good. Oh, and like you had to say the tagline: "Discover the pleasure of pain." Of pain. Of pain. I thought his last name would, when I was reading through the thing, I <laughs> thought it would Payne? be Payne, you know? Yeah, it makes sense. And it said Steve Allen, and I was like, whoa, hold on a second. <laughs> but I guess Von Allen. Von Allen? I mean, that sounds just as good as Von Payne. Oh, Von Payne sounds But you, there's, you sounds can, there's a lot more to yeah, go with, a lot with more, Von Payne. Yeah. And like, you know, I like their whole setup, with, yeah. you know, the wings, the gargoyle. You know, they it, you know, they're, I think another reason why we like this so much is because it's that... That culture that goes with Von Payne. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the, you know, the subculture. And that's yeah. what he said that Steve was about. He said, like, you know, he's a nerd in high school. He was a bouncer at a, at a punk rock club. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, you know, and, you know, he has tattoos, and he's into extreme sports. So, like, all right, what extreme sports are you into? He's, like, he's a certified skydiver, which I did skydiving. He did. And that was freaking awesome. He even had a whiskey up there. Yeah. You know, check it out. Check it's it out. It's on Instagram. You can see yep. the picture. <laughs> But um, he's a, I think he's a pilot, pilots helicopters, airplanes. Um, he does paragliding, which I want to do. I would oh. love to do paragliding. Strap I want to go skydiving. Skydiving. But they told me I was too fat. I have to lose some weight to go skydiving. I think you're almost, you're almost there. No. Yeah, you're looking slim. Are you? Looking, Am I? Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. a sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> and he's into motocross, <laughs> which I love, you know. We talked about that in the last video with the apocalypse and toss the dirt bike in the back and How, Mad yeah, Max right? it. Mad Max in it? That'd yeah. be sweet. We should Mad Max it all the way down to Clearwater and go visit Steve Allen. We should. Or even like, you know, uh, the one event that they did was uh, Ink, Ink by the Bay. Yeah. You, mm, not safe for work, but probably safe for work, depending on how cool your work is. That <laughs> video is freaking, I want it. I, I think I would be overwhelmed at said event. Yeah. Yeah. I would go home with whiplash and a neck. <laughs> Very know cool. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, what's that? Hey, what's that? Hey, what's that? What's that? Over there and over there and over there. And it's not whiskey I'm looking at. <laughs> well, yeah, because they had the pinup girl contest. Mm-hmm. So Steve Allen and Von Payne Black, you're kicking ass. We love it. Love it. Okay, so do we rate it? Yeah. Are we rating it? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we should. This, this, I think this is going to be the highest one I've ever done. Where are you going to put it? I think I'm going to give this a niner. Wow, that's Eric's first niner. Yeah, this is un in. This is incredibly super. I think I just spit everywhere. Nope, last a beard hair. Inconceivable. Inconceivable. <laughs> <laughs> 
the man with six fingers. <laughs> I, <laughs> my name is Nick Montoya. Look at my father. Prepared to die. Inconceivable. <laughs> I think, yeah, this is a nine for me, bud. I didn't even... I didn't... I didn't... It was not, nine? I didn't, like, think yeah. about it or anything. Nine. This stuff is effing incredible. It is really good. It's unique. It has a good flavor to it. Um, I would give it... Um, 8.5. Yeah. All right. So we're, yeah, yeah we're I'm pretty up there. close. Yeah, no, that's up there. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I'd, I'd buy another bottle. Von Payne, Clearwater, Florida. Right. Another Florida. Florida's coming on the map here with whiskey. Well, I mean, I think, you know, uh, you know, there actually is a Florida distillery trail. Is there really? There is. Is it starting in St. Augustine? I don't know where it starts at. It's got to start in Jacksonville. Jacksonville yeah, Jacksonville. Jacksonville, we have the, we have four here yeah. in Jacksonville. Yeah. Yeah. So this gets my highest score ever. Yeah. Um, impressive. It's very impressive. It definitely gets a stamp of approval. Mm -hmm. uh, we 100% have to make a trip to go see Steve Allen. And if it just so happens to be during that ink thing, <laughs> then that's the way it is. And um, I'm going to go buy a bottle of this. Okay, so where can we find it locally? Here okay. in Jack's. Locally, the only place I know is Gold Knox over on Normandy. They're carrying it right now. And like I said, currently, the, like, like uh, Steve told me, this one well, you need is actually... You didn't cheers me. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just wanted to make sure you're ready. So, Gold Knox on uh, Normandy. Right. So, go see... Schloke. Schloke. Be like, what's up, dog? Whiskey in a hammock sent me here to get some Von Payne Black. They yep. said it's freaking incredible. Um, yeah, so go get you some. And uh, help a Florida small business guy out. Yep, definitely. Because this stuff is the real deal. I'm a huge fan. It's completely different from anything I've had. Anything I've had. It is. No, it is very different. Like I said, you know, you know, I think he achieved it. You know, yep. it's great taste. It's unique. It's different. And we're professionals. We know what we're talking about. <laughs> you know, at least we play one on YouTube. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm skinny on YouTube. <laughs> Told you he's looking good. And I'm funny. <laughs> Dad jokes and everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Where, where can they find us, Eric? You can find us at whiskeyandahammock.com, Whiskey and Hammock on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. YouTube. YouTube and Tiki Talkie. TikTok. So uh, make sure you, when you go up on there, hit like, subscribe, smash yes. like buttons. Yes. And the whole nine yards. Right. And you'll go buy a bottle and tell us what you think. Yes, please comment on the YouTube video, right? So if you think we're full of crap, then tell us. If you think we're awesome, I mean, I won't let it go to my head. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I'd, I'd be really interested to see what people think of this. Yeah. Cause this. I can't imagine there's a whole lot of people around here that have had this or know what it is. And you see, and you know, that's part of the reason why I picked it up. And then Von Payne, they just came out in January. So three years in the oh. making. Three years. Oh, and they, they, they won a couple awards. They won the SIP Award. Gold, mm -hmm. gold for taste and platinum for package design. I did see. They have like five or six different awards. Yep. You know, the San Francisco World of Spirits, they won uh, double silver. That's a big deal. It, and, they, and like I said, they just came out in January. Just this year. So that's why I was excited like, so about like doing this. Six month, what month is it right now? Five. May? Yeah. Five? Yep. They're five months old? Yep. Shut the front door. I thought they were easily three to five. Nope. They like just wow. came out this January. Just came out this January. So, so that's why I was excited about doing it because it's brand new. I you know I don't, I don't know if anybody's going to Whiskey and Hammock can make them explode to the point where Steve calls us to be like, dude, please <laughs> stop talking about us. I literally I, can't I, make it. I can't keep money. up. I can't keep up. Come on, Steve. We're making you rich, buddy. Anyway. So, whiskeyandhammock.com forward slash store for all your merch. T-shirts, hats, glasses, flip-flops, hoodies, long sleeve T-shirts, hammocks. Yep, hammocks. And there's a couple more new items to come. Yep. Uh, constantly expanding. Constantly We're expanding. Growing. Yeah, you're kicking ass. Yeah, so thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for supporting the channel. Um, thank you for coming out. We're, we've started to do events. You guys have start have come out, and uh, you guys have been strong for us. So yep. thank you so much. Spread the word of Whiskey and Hammock. And, um, yeah, we're slowly getting to a goal here, and, and it's, it's freaking exciting. So, once again, thank you. We are Whiskey and Hammock. My name is Eric. And I'm Chris. May the wind always for your hand. May your glass never go dry. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Yeah! Hey, I get to do that for real now. <laughs> Have you met I'm sure I look like a big cotton ball, though. <laughs> Just like, oh, he's trying, though. <laughs> what hey. are you doing? That's me.